Okay. Okay. Now, uh, can you give us the thirty thousand foot view about Lisk? What what problem is it solving? That's usually the best way to talk about this. Um, okay. So Lisk allows the deployment of blockchains, which we um, just heard about as mentioned as sidechains. And then a developer can build a blockchain application or service on top of it. So if you're asking me what problem it tries to solve, it makes the world of applications more decentralized and more connected throughout the world. Well, that's pretty fascinating. So you, it, you're actually able to put code into some request and then have other people run it? Okay, so um, first of all, the blockchain for blockchain applications at LISC is like a database on which you are saving all the data which is being accumulated by your app. And um, because your blockchain app can be secured by a multitude of nodes, this means it's decentralized. And um, this allows a lot of different types of applications. You can have financial applications, you can have social applications, you can have sharing economies, games, and so on. And because a lot of people are running those applications in a decentralized manner, it means that it can't be shut down by a government or by a company which might not want to see it. Okay, but I'm still sort of wondering then, you're, you're actually putting code into the blockchains? Um, you, you don't put the code into the blockchain. The blockchain is, as I mentioned, just a decentralized database. The code okay. is running is in any other normal application in the back end, and you have your front end, which allows you to access the functionalities of your app. And yeah, well, this app is then like being installed on a multitude of nodes, and it's just running them there. Okay. I'm I'm still a little fuzzy. <laughs> I, is this, is this, is, this is an innovative concept. Then is this? Are you guys the first to kind of attack attack this uh, area of interest? Um, if you're a developer nowadays and you want to build some decentralized technologies, you don't really have a framework available which makes it more easy for you. And Lisk is one of the first ones, or maybe even the first ones. Uh, which allows you to do that. Um, otherwise, you would have to take care of so many different stuff, which is really on a rocket science level. Like you would have to take care of the peer-to-peer -peer networking of the consensus and so on. And this is already taken care of by Lisk. And you can really concentrate on your app itself, on the back end, on the front end, on the user experience and so on. Okay, so... Um yeah, I'm still trying to still trying to sort this out. I there's a lot of big. I think probably the problem is you know I, I sort of understand the basics of how Bitcoin works. So how is this? How is what's happening beyond like what Bitcoin is doing? I think because a lot of our audience knows what Bitcoin is. So how is this? Is this something bolted onto Bitcoin? Is this something that acts like a brand new set of blockchains, but not related to Bitcoin? How, how does that work? Um, okay, so we have a complete new blockchain which acts like a hub for all these sidechains, okay? So you have like one big blockchain and all these sidechains running um, yeah, on top of it or next to it. And um, with it, we also have our own cryptocurrency called LSK or simply LISC. Um, and our code is entirely new. So we are not a fork of Bitcoin or other platforms, which often happens in this ecosystem. But um, we are really something new, which wants to disrupt the market of applications. Uh, I can explain it a little bit more in detail. So Bitcoin itself is also just a decentralized application, okay? It has a blockchain as a database which saves all transactions occurring on the network. And then the code itself is embedded into the application itself, which simply connects to the blockchain. Um, it has its own consensus rules and so on. Um, and if I now make a, an extremely simple example, you have at Bitcoin only transactions which allows you to send money around. At LISC, you, know, you can now make in your, inside your sidechain a new transaction type, which allows you to embed text, okay? And now you can program 
a messaging service with Lisk, which sends transactions around on the sidechain, but which all um, includes small or bigger parts of text, um, which can be used for yeah, the just mentioned messaging service. 